Eric Hartman, the most famous and the greatest pilot in the world. Eric Alfred Hartman was a Luftwaffe pilot during World War II. He had the highest record of victory in aerial combat and became a hero in the history of aviation. After the defeat of Germany in World War II, he was captured by the Red Army of the Soviet Union. Hartman was born in the village of Wasik. His father was in World War I as a doctor. Eric joined the German Air Force in October 1940 when he was only 18 years old and entered pilot school in March 1941, becoming a fighter pilot in October 1942. He graduated at the age of 20. At that time, the German Air Force and other involved countries were in dire need of manpower, especially skilled and professional pilots. And for this reason, very young pilots were quickly sent to the front lines. After completing his studies, he quickly transferred to Fighter Wing 52, which was equipped with Messerschmitt BF-109. Hartmann remained in this squadron until the last day of the war and shot down 352 enemy planes in more than 1,400 sorties. In this way, Hartmann became the most successful pilot in history who has ever participated in operational fights. Hartmann's combat style in more than 1,400 flying missions was summarized in four phases. Target identification, decision to engage, attack, escape from the danger zone. Since his first mission, Hartman had a habit of not attacking until the enemy plane covered the entire windshield of his plane. By getting too close to the enemy aircraft, he ensured that each of his bullets would hit the enemy fighters. Hartman had a wide view and quick reactions to enemy aircraft. Hartman's fame continued to the point where even the Russians put a bounty on his head calling him the Black Monster and sending their best pilots to hunt down Hartman's plane. Hartman received many ranks that he deserved and even received the rank of captain, which was very difficult to obtain. He even received the Nice Cross, Germany's highest post-Hitler military rank, a distinction that only 27 members of the Nazi German army had received. As a hero of the World War, he also received an honorary medal that only 12 people received that badge. At the end of the World War II, Hartmann also flew the German masterpiece, the Messerschmitt Me-262, the war's first jet fighter, but he continued to serve with the Bf-109. On May 8, 1945, after Hartmann shot down the last Russian plane, he landed at an airfield in Czechoslovakia after he got off the plane. He realized that the airport was completely surrounded by the forces of the 19th Infantry Division of the U.S. Army. When American soldiers captured the airport, Hartman and some of the pilots and ground crew of his flight were taken prisoner. In 1955, in an agreement between West Germany and the Soviet Union, it was decided that 60,000 German prisoners, including Hartman, would be released. He was among the last group of prisoners who were released in 1955. He returned to his homeland and to his wife, and in 1956 joined the newly formed West German Luftwaffe. Hartmann always said that he was proud of the more than 1,400 missions he flew, and he never lost any aircraft. This proud pilot died on September 20th, 1993, at the age of 71. Many thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe my channel and like and share this video.